well, the busiest of busy weeks. Um, I'm not 100% either. I've got a bit of a cough and not feeling 100%, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, we have had an awesome week. Roll the promo. What follows is a brief construction montage. A lot of boring math later.
We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right, so uh, basically it's all in, almost. Still got a wall cabinet to go there. Still got two wall cabinets to go behind the fridge because the fridge has got to go over there when we finish that. And two floor cabinets also going there. They're all built and ready to go. So that's just basically screwing them in, screwing the bench top on. Um, yeah, wow, what a week. Uh, look, I got a special thanks to my mate BJ, who's a cabinet maker. And um, really this bit over here, I mean the cabinets were reasonably easy to build, but this bit over here would have really done my head in without him. So uh, thanks very much for your help BJ, that's muchly appreciated. Um, so where are we at? Well, the um, island bench is in and you'll notice there's no end trims on anything yet because they're going to wait until I've done the floating floorboards. Uh, the cabinet doors and drawer fronts have still got to go on yet, but that's not a biggie. Same with the kick panels. Kick panels won't go on until I've done the floating floorboards. Dishwasher's in position. A uh, bit disappointed about that. It doesn't actually... We bought an extra uh, panel to go on the front here to match the other panels, but the dishwasher is way too thick, so uh, that's not going to work. Oh, well, hopefully I can get a credit back on that panel. Um, plumbing is done and the sink and flick mixer and everything's in. The cook cooker is in and range hood's in, although there's still a little bit of finishing work I've got to do around that and it's not quite level so I've got to level it up yet. Um, microwave cavity is in, cavity, microwave shelf and the little uh, shelf above it is in. And uh, yeah, like I said, this was the monumental effort. So above fridge cabinet, tilt up door here. Um, Caboodle really didn't, they just gave you a couple of bits of extra material and said, yeah, build this and didn't really explain how to do it. Uh, I would have got there in the end, but doing it with BJ is much, much neater. Um, we have pre-set up our little bits of wood at the top here so we can put infill panels all the way to the roof and that will make it nice and finished off. Same back here, that'll go up to the roof and then we're going to just have a piece of Tassie Oak trim hiding that line all the way around here and uh, up here. Uh, that will be end panelled and back to there so that'll all be finished in and up to the ceiling. This will be the only open part, end panel going on here, and again, finished up to the ceiling and across the front there. Double doors opening there. Tassie oak trim going around the, um, around the window, and I've still got to get a new pane of glass yet. And tiling, of course. Um, but anyway, that's the bulk of it, that's the the back broken, I guess you'd say, of the kitchen installation. And uh, it's all coming together really, really nicely now. So uh, yeah, again, big thanks to BJ for all his help. So uh, I guess the next one will be far more finished. Um, hopefully having, getting the ceilings completely painted uh, and the boss is gonna get some more paint and we're gonna paint the walls as well. So we're getting close. I'm tired. I'm going to have a day off today. See ya.